Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film so many videos here on my YouTube all about spirituality and relationships and metaphysics and so, so much more. And for this video, I want to delve into emotions yet again because this is something that I have been trying to do and trying to figure out for the, at least a year because I think I wrote this video idea down a year ago and then here we are a year later and I'm actually dealing with the same thing again. For some reason it managed to come up and I'd already highlighted this video to do a few weeks ago and then the last few days I've actually been delving into it even more so it's major divine timing but when it comes to processing our emotions oftentimes we want to shun them we want to avoid them, we want to push them away and this is something that I have done my whole life <laughs> and I'm realising that the reason why was a survival mechanism first of all but I also kind of thought that if I would feel my emotions then they would take over and get stuck and I wouldn't be able to get rid of them like it can sometimes feel like if you actually feel sadness you'll get stuck in sadness and that was my belief for the longest time and it's only through practice now and starting to actually allow myself to feel these emotions when they come that I realise that they actually do release and they release a lot easier than when you're trying to avoid it because when you're pushing it away it just builds up and then it kind of takes over your whole body, your whole energy field, your mood gets lower and you start to be agitated and snappy with people and stuff like that because your emotions are literally calling for your attention and you're not really paying attention to it. So it can start to subconsciously affect your behaviour and your mood and the way that you carry yourself. So it's definitely really, really important to feel our emotions and I think the more you do it, the more you make it a practice, you'll start to see the benefits of it and then you'll understand exactly why it's beneficial. But before you do it and it's a bit unknown and it can feel a bit weird, it might not make sense. But yeah, so something for me lately is actually sitting with my emotions and delving into them. And one of my wonderful core beliefs from my childhood and for my whole life, as long as I can bloody well remember, has been unworthiness and a lack of safety around being who I am and I don't even know why I'm telling you this because that's such a like vulnerable thing to uh, that's such a vulnerable thing to say but it's the truth and because it's a camera I feel okay to say it but that has been my core belief for the longest time and so what I've actually realized now is that instead of avoiding that feeling every time I want to take some action or every time I want to do something instead of avoiding that feeling if I actually was to sit with it and allow that unworthiness and that fear and that anxiety to come up then I will start to move it through my body instead of it getting stuck first of all and I'll start to actually acknowledge how that part of me feels and understand why that part of me feels that way and then I can validate it instead of brushing it off. It's a bit like when you do it with a child, like if a child is upset about something, if they've hurt themselves and they're crying, you're not gonna like tell them off for crying when they're literally in pain, do you know what I mean? So it's like obviously you're gonna go to them and you're gonna comfort them and you're gonna reassure them and help them feel better because they don't know how to regulate their emotions and because they've just hurt themselves and so they're in pain and they're expressing that pain and it's the same with ourself. We can feel certain things and then just not allow ourselves to express it and then wonder why we end up literally in such a bad mood and being agitated and snappy or like doing certain things that don't actually benefit us or even self-sabotaging certain relationships and things because we're holding so much in that it starts to weigh us down and then we can't carry ourselves in the way that we actually wanted to and we can't take the action that we actually wanted to and I noticed this for myself there's so many times where I've wanted to do so many things, especially with music. Oh my God, music is a major, major one that I'm only just realizing these beliefs have been affecting even now is like, it stops you from doing what you want to do, you know? Like just when you want to create your dreams and you want to take a leap of faith and do something out of the ordinary or something that goes against what your family want or something like that, the fear that comes up 
that stops us from doing it, if we were actually to allow ourselves to feel these emotions, they wouldn't get in our way as much and it wouldn't block us and stop us from doing what we want to do. But so many of us suppress and run from it and you know, it's a survival mechanism, so it makes sense why we do it, and it's perfectly okay, like, we don't need to shame ourselves for doing it, but just taking the time to actually practice feeling the emotion, and even your resistance to feeling your emotions, and even the shame that comes up around the emotion, like, you might be feeling sadness, and then you're feeling shame for feeling sad, do you know what I mean? So, like, there's layers to this, and just allowing yourself to work your way through those layers, one moment at a time, one day at a time, so that you can start to really get comfortable with yourself and with all parts of yourself because they're not actually going anywhere this is something that I learned in therapy is that like I thought if I just feel my sadness or if I feel my unworthiness then the part of me that feels unworthy will just stop feeling unworthy and I realized like that's not actually always the case sometimes that part will continue to feel that way because that part has kind of been programmed to feel that way based on past experiences and memories and things that happened when you were younger so that part may always feel that way but how you react to it and how you treat that feeling whenever it comes up, that's the thing that helps it to release. And even if it comes back up continuously, say it comes back up every day, or say you do this practice every day and then you don't feel unworthy for a while, but then a month later, like that feeling starts to come up again based on whatever your situation is, you know? Like these things can stop and start so, so much and it's not a linear process and it doesn't need to be perfect. It's just like we don't need to magically fix it all. Do you know what I mean? It's okay for it to come up whenever it comes up and to leave whenever it leaves and our job is simply to just be present with it and to be compassionate towards it and not try and shame it or judge it or belittle it for being there. Like it's okay to feel how you feel and to allow it to actually happen and then through that process they really do start to release and I'm really starting to experience this for myself but it's still the early stages and still something that I need to get used to doing because it can be very uncomfortable to sit with these feelings especially shame and unworthiness and things like that that are very very low in vibration it can be so uncomfortable and it can bring up a lot of body sensations and a lot of tightness a lot of back pain and stuff like this you know it can bring up so many different things and so many memories and so many memories can trigger it in the present so like there's just a lot to it and a lot that can happen but just being kinder to ourselves while we go through this journey and while you allow yourself to feel your emotions and realizing that they will actually release on their own without you trying to force it and without you trying to avoid it and run from it i also want to say though at the same time as like our inner children and our like all these different parts to ourselves are feeling all of these different things oftentimes it comes from beliefs that were programmed as children or even in adulthood you know like it's an ego mind type of perspective that is causing these emotions and at the same time as that being valid so is the higher perspective and so is the other parts of you like there there could be one part of you that wants to do something and one part of you that's absolutely terrified you know like for me I know there is one part of me that really wants to live my soul mission and be who I am be authentic film these videos make me Use it you know like put myself out there and then there's another part of me that is absolutely terrified of doing all of it so there's like these opposing parts that want to do these things and that are scared of these things but all of it's authentic and both is valid at the same time and just as these are valid at the same time so is the higher perspective of your soul already knowing all of the information all of the like steps to get you where you want to go and like you know your higher self knows everything and it knows the future that you can't necessarily see right now so at the same time as all of this fear being valid and all of these emotions being valid and all of this trauma and this programming and everything to do with this human experience so is your higher self and your spirit guides and source and whatever else you want to call these things like so is the higher connection and higher power and higher purpose so 
I think it's really like something beneficial that I've experienced for myself is to if, like whenever I'm going into these parts and I'm doing the shadow work and stuff is to always kind of remind myself of the higher perspective as well because it just puts things into the bigger perspective like it highlights the bigger picture if that makes sense of like okay yeah I'm not just alone you know I'm not just in this by myself I'm not lost I'm not like spiraling out of control or something I'm dealing with human things human emotions human experience but I'm also a soul in a vessel you know and just remembering that higher perspective to kind of keep you grounded but also help you see the bigger picture so just something else to think about is that you're not actually in this human experience on your own there's so much support and protection and guidance around you and it's just a case of us tuning into it and being open to it and through this shadow work through processing our emotions and through being present with all parts of ourselves without judgment we open ourselves up to receive and we open ourselves up to new ideas and possibilities and like the next steps and all of the kind of things that we're really wanting to get and wanting to understand Stand, it helps you to really start to receive that and start to gain that self-awareness as well and understanding why you feel how you feel and like what memories contributed to that and the fact that the memories are not actually here in the present your experience in your present is so much different to the past so just being able to release those emotions and let go of control is so so powerful and important so yeah, I really hope this video was helpful. Thank you so, so much for watching. Definitely check out the description box below for everything about me. I've just launched a group chat on Telegram for all of us because I was originally sending inspirational pictures and videos and things on WhatsApp. And obviously that's one-to-one. -one, so I was feeling called towards a group chat where I can post them in there and you can kind of speak to each other as well and we can all connect and walk this wonderful shadow work path together so the link to the group chat is in the description box below you can hide your phone number so that nobody else can see it on telegram that's why I wanted to do it there but also my whatsapp my phone number is still there as well I'm still gonna message you one-to-one -one on whatsapp so everything about me is in the description box below as well as links to my music and my crystal jewelry and everything else my podcast oh there's so many things that I'm up to it's ridiculous but I love it so yeah, I will see you in the next video. I hope you have the best week. Bye.